Coming up on 5-Minute News. Hollywood writers agree tentative deal to end strike. White House announces $1.4 billion rail safety investment. And Lahaina residents return to town destroyed by wildfire. It's Tuesday, September 26. I'm Anthony Davis. The tentative deal reached between Hollywood and studio executives has been received well by those on strike and others within the industry. Members from the Writers Guild of America, who took on the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers with demands that included better pay and residuals and safeguards on the use of artificial intelligence, shared their collective relief. In a statement issued yesterday, the WGA said, We have reached a tentative agreement on a new 2023 MBA, which is to say an agreement in principle on all deal points, subject to drafting final contract language. What we have won in this contract, most particularly everything we have gained since May 2nd, is due to the willingness of this membership to exercise its power, to demonstrate its solidarity, to walk side by side to endure the pain and uncertainty of the past 146 days. It is the leverage generated by your strike, in concert with the extraordinary support of our union siblings, that finally brought the companies back to the table to make a deal. The organization called the deal exceptional. On Monday, Joe Biden issued a statement on the strike's imminent end and praised the power of collective bargaining. There simply is no substitute for employers and employees coming together to negotiate in good faith towards an agreement that makes a business stronger and secures the pay, benefits and dignity that workers deserve, he said. Also on Monday, California's Governor Gavin Newsom called the writers a vital part of the state's economy. The Biden administration announced yesterday it has awarded more than $1.4 billion to projects that improve railway safety and boost capacity, with roughly a billion of the money coming from the 2021 infrastructure deal. These projects will make American rail safer, more reliable and more resilient, delivering tangible benefits to dozens of communities where railroads are located and strengthening supply chains for the entire country, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said in a statement. The money is funding for 70 projects in 35 states and Washington, D.C. Railroad safety has become a key concern nationwide ever since a train carrying hazardous chemicals derailed and caught fire in East Palestine, Ohio in February. President Joe Biden has ordered federal agencies to hold the train's operator, Northern Southwark, accountable for the crash, but a package of proposed rail safety reforms has stalled in the Senate, where the bill is still awaiting a vote. The White House is also saying that a possible government shutdown because of House Republicans would undermine railway safety. The projects include track upgrades and bridge repairs, in addition to improving the connectivity among railways and making routes less vulnerable to extreme weather. The single biggest grant, nearly $202 million, will help eliminate seven rail crossings in California as part of the larger project to build a high-speed rail line in that state. That will reduce traffic delays and help ensure that first responders can get where they need to go. The first of thousands of residents who lost their homes in the wildfire that destroyed the Hawaii town of Lahaina returned to their devastated properties on Monday, with some stopping for a moment of reflection and others searching for mementos among the ruins. In the days following the August 8 wildfire, some people were able to return to their properties to evaluate the damage, but since then the burned area has been off-limits to all but authorised workers. Authorities opened one small part of it yesterday, allowing residents in for supervised visits. By midday, about two dozen vehicles carrying residents had entered the area. The prospect of returning has stirred strong emotions in residents who fled in vehicles or on foot as wind-whipped flames raced across Lahaina, the historic capital of the former Hawaiian kingdom, and overcame people stuck in traffic trying to escape. 
The wildfire killed at least 97 people and destroyed more than 2,000 buildings, most of them homes. Some survivors jumped over a sea wall and sheltered in the waves as hot black smoke blotted out the sun. Officials urge returning residents not to sift through the ashes for fear of raising toxic dust. The first area to be cleared for re-entry was a zone of about two dozen parcels in the northern part of Lahaina. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.